first of all, John, um, how has a free week helped you this week? It's quite a rarity at the moment. Yeah, we've we've needed it. We've needed that uh, break. Uh, there's been a lot of games, and hopefully uh, we'll be refreshed for Saturday. Uh, we grouped, been able to work on one or two things that we haven't been able to do uh, in the last uh, three or four weeks. So, uh, no, it's it's come at a good time. In terms of the frequency of the games at the moment, has that maybe helped or, or, or does it not help when you're on a run like you've been in? Obviously not. In terms of, but in terms of, because some managers I know want games straight away, but for you, have you found that you've needed that time on the training ground more than perhaps ever any time at Port Vale? Yeah, because um, after the Tranmere game, then there was, uh, obviously we played for probably about 35 minutes with 10 men. And it, uh, it takes it out of the players who are on the pitch. So uh, we could have uh, obviously done with a break. And then the same thing happened at Newport. And uh, you're going into a midweek game with players. They're going to be tired after Saturday, but when you go down to 10 men, it obviously has that uh, little bit more effect. So, uh, so no, we, we needed a, a break and we could have done with it sooner. But uh, um, hopefully um, that'll make the difference for Saturday now. What sort of things have you worked on this week? I just, we've been conceding too many goals from, uh, mainly from second balls. So uh, that was one of the areas and, and we're still, still, although I think we're creating chances, uh, we need to uh, start to get on the end of one or two more. Um, so, uh, so th there's lots to work on. Um, we're not, you know, we, when we've played like on Saturday, I don't think we were too far, you know, away from, from being our best really. Um, we just uh, could have put the ball in the net uh, on more occasions on Saturday and um, we could have defended better. Is that hard to work on sometimes when it is fine margins that have cost you in this game? Like you say, it's not, it's not like you've been whacked, you know, three or four nil, is it? No, it's easier because obviously there's less to work on. Um, but defensively, yeah. Uh, there's not a lot wrong from, from open play. Um, it's, it's been mainly dealing with, with set pieces, the set and ball from set, set pieces that's cost us. Um, so we just need to be switched on a little bit more. And uh, what we try to do is be a little bit more organised and uh, for when the ball does come back in. Is there anybody, there are some people in football that perhaps you, you've spoke to um, on, on a run like this that you sort of look to get a bit of support from, people you maybe worked with in the past, in this week or recently? I think you call on your own experiences. You know, it's happened before. Um, it's the first time at the Vale, really, that we've, we've had a, a run like this. Um, you know, it's been a bad month. Um, but no, we've got plenty of experience within, inside the football club. So we've got, Dave's got plenty of experience, Puri, uh, Frank Sinclair, uh, John Rudge, um, Ronnie Sinclair. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of experience uh, to call upon. And uh, the main thing is none of us are, are panicking. Obviously, we know that we've got to win games and, and it's vital that we, we start to do that as soon as possible. Um, but it's no use uh, if we start to panic. It's, it's no help to the players. It's just where sometimes you look at your coaching staff and, and they become more important, I guess, than ever that you've got people you trust, you've got people who, who you know you can you can rely on and, and talk to around you. Yeah, and I've had that from day one, to be honest. When I came in, I was very lucky that, uh, they, obviously Dave came in with me, but Danny Pugh and, and Ronnie and, and Roger was already here. So, uh, and we all get on well and uh, we all pull in the same direction. So... It is important that you have people around you who you can trust, especially at times like this. Just on the Bolton bit, we caught the first bit. Um, you would just just remind me what you were saying, how they how they are an example of what can happen um, if you do it. And you're talking about how you've done it yourself as well. Yeah, I think uh, you know we're more than capable of going on a run. Uh, we've proved it in the past. Um, and uh, like you say, with Bolton, Bol Bolton have got decent players and. Uh, it was only a matter of time before they started to uh, to uh, 
start to win games and, and be be in the top half. And we'd expect them to be up there at the end of the season. Um, but with ourselves, you know, we're more than capable uh, of beating anybody in the league if, if we're playing well. And uh, we just have a slice of luck that we haven't tied this last uh, month. But, um, but no, it's, uh, it's a very even league. And, uh, you know, we just got to concentrate on ourselves and, and hopefully, yeah, we can get things right. But concentrating on yourselves and, and, and how even the league is when you look at the points tallies that teams have got, I think, you know, you've lost eight, but you're still pretty close to the playoffs. So it, it must be encouraging that, that, that you, you, you're not like going to be cut adrift at this stage if you can turn things around. No, it's it's the complete opposite, really, of last year for us, where sometimes we were drawing games that we should have won uh, last season. Uh, this season, we've probably um, probably won more games, um, but uh, but no, it's and our home record last season was obviously fantastic. Uh, I think we only lost one at home all season, and that hasn't been the case. Um, again, I think supporters have, you know, and great deal to do with that. We've been in games where I think the crowd would have got us over the line, um, but we haven't got that, so we just have to get on with it. But uh, but no, it's it's a trying period and uh, we're just hoping that we can come through it. And just finally for you personally, have you found that I know you've been working hard this week and had time to address some things that you wanted to, but have you also found a bit of time to, to have a bit of rest out away from the club as well because it's been quite a hectic period and, and a bit of pressure as well well you find yourself you, you find yourself working working harder obviously to try and put things right and uh, well, when things are going well you, you're obviously a little bit more relaxed and and uh, you know you just let things carry on uh, when things are not going so well then obviously you've got to look at everything and try and improve uh, and get back to where we were